In this lesson for Bobcad Cam, we're going to go over how to install the Bobcad software. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your computer is ready to go before the installation. These are some things that you're going to want to check and make sure that you are up to date with. One is our current system requirements. You can go to our website at bobcad.com and under support look for your system requirements. Just make sure that you're up to date on the current system requirements. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to make sure your current version of Windows is up to date. Very important because Bobcat all not only uses its own files, it, re it refers to the Windows files on your computer. So you want to make sure you're up to date before even installing the software. Any available updates are out there for your Windows, please run those. Uh, the third thing and probably one of the most important things is the graphic card driver. Uh, your, your graphic card has its own driver, another software uh, to go along with it. You want to make sure that the driver is up to date. You want to go to the manufacturer of the driver's website, look for the most recent available update for that driver, for that model of, of uh, card, and download it and install it to your computer. Once you have all of those things ready to go, whether you're installing from a disk or a link, it'll be the same procedure. We're going to install from a link that was emailed to me. Now, if you have a disk, you just put the disk in the drive. It should auto run. If not, you can click on your drive and run it from there. But for those of you who have the link, uh, it's best to save it down to your computer first before running it. And then once it's there, just double click it. From this point on, both installations will be the same thing. It's going to ask us if we want English or Spanish at first, and I'll just hit Next. And now we're into the actual install of the software. You'll have your different splash screens that come up. First it's telling me, do you want to continue with the install? I'm going to hit Next. It's going to ask you to read the license agreement. This is something you should take a look at just to be aware of what's in here. Accept when you're ready. You can even print it out for your own copy to have there. And then we'll hit next. In here you can just give it a name like we'll call this tech and we'll call this Bobcad Cam. Now you want to do a complete installation. The only time you should really be doing a custom installation is if you're local drive is not like the C drive for instance. You have a diff your, your local drive of your computer is a different drive. Uh, other than that, run the complete install. It'll be the best thing for you at that point. It says, do you want to review your change, any of your information settings? Uh, click cancel to exit. So it's giving you another chance to go back through your settings or cancel right out of the installation. Now I want to install it. And it's going to take a minute and run through the installation. Okay, then it should come up to a screen that's, asked, that's welcoming you to install the Predator Editor. If you don't get this one, that means you might either already have Predator already installed on your computer. Um, the Predator editor is used for code editing and machine communications RS-232 back and forth to the machines. And it's done. And now it'll ask me to finish the 26 install. So you have two installs to run through, the Bobcat software itself and then the Predator. Now when you first open the software, um, more than likely if you haven't had Bobcat installed on your computer before, it'll be in the five day trial mode. So you'll have the complete software, all the options in it fully unlocked for five days. If you have had Bobcat on your computer before, it's gonna be in demo mode. You, uh, when you first open it, it'll say run demo or activate or register for five days if you want or a day or two or register it. Um, if you don't have the activate, run demo or activate buttons on the center of the screen and you come open like this and you wanna still put your license in, go to help and you have a couple options. On your invoice that you received from Bobcad, you'll have, an, uh, you'll have your access codes with your license ID and your password you can type in here if you're, if you're connected to the internet. Hit activate and you should get activation successful. The other option if you don't have the internet or you don't have those codes is simply open the Bobcad up, go to activate license by itself, have this screen open and call our main number, 877-262. 2231 and just let them know that you need to activate your software. They'll ask you for these three codes here and then you'll click activate and your software will be ready to go. At that point you can go into help and license and make sure all of your licensing information is correct. This concludes this lesson.